Well, hey there, Breakfast Club. I'm Peach, and it's Sunday. In Jacob's Wednesday video, he asked if it's okay to hate reading, and talked about how tiresome some books can be. And as someone who does enjoy reading, I would say that it's not really a question of it being okay or not okay, but it's just kind of sad if someone doesn't like to read at all. It's not necessarily a sign of intelligence or lack thereof, but patience and self-discipline. However, one does not have to enjoy every piece of literature in order to enjoy reading. And there certainly is a larger dose of pretentiousness when it comes to discussing the classics, as if you have to love them. You don't. Reading should be enjoyable and not feel like a chore, which is why I always resented being forced to read certain literature when I was in school. Now, as for Josh's video yesterday, I can definitely relate to what he discussed regarding feeling one's shortcomings around the end of the year. It might be because I associate a new year with resolutions, which usually involve self-improvement. Now, I'm already at that point where I start thinking about what I view as my personal accomplishments and failures during the past year, and how I can look to expand the accomplishments and improve on particular areas. As it turns out, this upcoming year will be sort of a milestone birthday, which has had me brooding for the past few months already over all of the things that I had hoped to do or overcome by this age and have not done for reasons both beyond my control and sheer unwillingness to step out of my comfort zone. For example, I've always had this very bad habit of living in my head. Well, what I mean by that is, I have an overactive fantasy life in which I often space out and divorce myself from current reality and instead indulge in the silly, fantastical experiences that I have with people I don't know and doing things that I'm unable to do. It's why I enjoy sleeping so much. I have much more exciting experiences in my dreams than in real life. And they do, at the very least, feel real. Sure, escapism is all too common with people. That's why recreational drugs are so popular. At any rate, I remember being single-digit age, sensing that this was kind of abnormal. But I also believed that I would eventually grow out of it, and so there was no need to worry about it. Obviously, I never did, and it has left me feeling very resentful of myself, because having such a rich fantasy life can make someone angry at themselves for not having done more in their actual lives. And now I'm beginning to fret about my age, despite still being relatively young, because, like Josh, I have put upon myself certain high standards of how I should spend what time I have left being alive and able-bodied. And that's why I do like this time of the year. Not so much for the holidays, which can be fun, but because I tend to be linear in my thought processes, which make it easier to make plans when the calendar flips. I make lists of what I want to work on, and tips on how to improve myself. Do they always work? No. But it's sort of self-therapy to sort it out this way, so I can start the new year with a bit more optimism. So that's all from me today. Be sure to subscribe to the Breakfast Club channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you all here next Sunday. Paul, you are up next, and we will see you tomorrow.